Oh, Look at that. Today is part two of our anniversary uh, getaway fishing trip, if you will. Um, don't forget to check out part one. I will go ahead and link that in the description. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Help us get this out there, guys. And um, yeah, so we got out a little bit late today. I know we always say that, but today we had a really good reason. It started pounding the rain in the middle of the night. And um, this was our first time camping in the rain, so the tent did great guys <clears throat> we got a little bit of water um, in the in the bottom but um, like hardly anything guys so it now I know that we're our tent can uh, endure the rain so we can do more rain and um, it poured all night it poured all, all night and it was amazing I love to sleep to the sound of rain but uh anyways that brings me to my next point we wanted to go to a certain area today which has off-roading and unfortunately, we have a family vehicle for all of our six kids, so we don't have four-wheel drive to get it up in there where we wanted to go. So uh, we will save that for another day when we didn't get pounded with rain the night before. Um, so we are still going to try some new places today, guys, and we are going to take you along with us for that. Um, probably more trout fishing. Um, like I said before, they have a lot of different species in there. Um, secretly, I'm always hoping to get on the browns whether they're big or small or a big rainbow, they do have big ones in there. And if they're over 16 inches, you get to keep one. So um, we are excited to get going today and we are gonna get our gear together and we are gonna get on down the road, guys. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll be able to get on these fish today, guys. All right, guys, so we are at the other spot. It is another river access point. Um, so we're gonna go down here all of the fly fishermen. It was tea time at our other spot So they're all out there and I just don't want to be Throwing out there when they're out there. So we came to a spot. That's a little bit less busy for us uh, spinning rod folks um, So we're gonna go out here and since it's day two, we're gonna probably keep all of the legal size uh, trout that we catch and take them home to mom and him and the kids so, uh, so follow us. This is a new pathway for us, and we're gonna go down here and see how the river access looks. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, there won't be very many of us down here. I don't know. Yuppies don't like the um, <laughs> wilderness, Kelly. It's not. It's not paved. I know. Well, I got my Crocs and four wheel drive, <laughs> so we should be good. Although, you know, if there is anything that happens with like a snake bite or whatever, we're a little ways out, but... And it is muddy. The pathway is all mudded and watery, so... Ooh, we're gonna have to go through the water. We're gonna have to literally go four-wheeling in our crops. And mine are not in sports mode. You need to kick into four-wheel drive? No, just go. I'll, I'll get my shoe, my feet wet. I mean, you can go to the right side here. Just be careful, don't slip, it's uh, muddy. Nice. We'll see if we can see the, the, as many trout as we did at the other spot, huh? Well, I don't care if I don't see them as long as they bite what I'm casting out there. Okay. Water's not moving at all. But I don't see any fish jumping like we were at the other spot. Mm -hmm. But you know, they could be out there. We just can't see them. Like, there's a ripple right there. We just made somebody move. All right, well, let's get situated. Trying to get into those pockets over there, guys. We see them jumping. Hey, there's another one. If I can get over there where they're willing to bite, 
Seems like they're liking Chewy's color a whole lot better than they are mine, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, I just got a bite. Guys, this is the most clearest water you could ever wade in. I hope you can see my crocs at the bottom here. Like, it is literally so clear. It's unreal. Am I on? I think I'm on. I'm on, guys. Yeah, baby. Woo, Shenaddy's paid off. Now if we can only be in the slot, out of the slot to catch this fish. And we are, it's a tiny one. Oh, well he got off guys. All right, paid off you guys. My legs being numb, this totally paid off. All right, well, let's get another one. We're gonna bring it in this time. What'd you go and do that for? Oh yeah, I got him by the tail. Oh, Chewy. Does it count, guys? Let us know in the comments. He's a little guy. We're gonna keep him. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe he, I think he's just uh, tangled up. Let's, well, nope, you, you definitely, does this count? <laughs> well, he's got line going through his mouth, so I'd say it counts. Yeah, he swallowed somebody else's hook and they didn't bother to take it out, guys. So uh, we're gonna get this fish off the hook and get him on the stringer, guys. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, well, Chewy just caught this guy on an RHA spoon. Which one do you have going? What are the colors on this one? Bubblegum. Bubblegum? Yeah. Bubblegum. RHA spoons. Chewy's been catching them over here, hooking up ever since. Um, so we're gonna put him in the basket. Keep him for the bebas. He's pretty small. We know he's under 13 inches. So we're gonna keep him. And that's a slot that we have to live with down here in this neck of the woods, you guys. Wherever you're fishing, it always seems like they're somewhere else. Oh, we're on. Ooh, he's athletic. Come on here, big boy. Come over here. Let's hope we got him hooked up good enough. I'm gonna get worn out here. And I know I like my drag loose, you guys, but listen, I'd rather have it too loose and too tight and have them go for a run and break you off. Cause then you got heartbreak and retie. If I can have just heartbreak, I mean, that sucks, but to have to retie, that really sucks. So let's bring them in, bring them in for the measure. Come on there, buddy. All right, let's see if he's in the slot. All right, we have tools falling from the sky, so I don't have to go chase it. Let's go just measure real quick. He is gonna need to settle down. And he is, he is, a, he is more than 13, ain't he, babe? Yeah, so luckily we are have very minimal damage here, like I'm telling you guys. If you're gonna set him free, don't do it just because you have to. I mean, yeah, you do have to, but we wanna do minimum damage here. We wanna get him back in the water. And uh, we want him to survive. We want him to swim the right direction. There he goes, guys. Chewie is on. And it's a keeper. All right, let me come and 
Chewie's the captain, I'm the greenhorn. Let me get this guy off and put him in the... <laughs> put him in the net. He drives me all these places, you guys. It's the least I can do. We're gonna keep this little guy, you guys. One of my kids is gonna love this fish. They're gonna love to eat it. <laughs> so, I don't know what color that is. But that is what, um, what, what he wanted to eat. So, and now he's what we want to eat. Wash the hands. And, uh, we're going to keep going for it, guys. Couldn't ask for a much better day out here, honestly. <sighs> See you on a bit. All right, we're on. Chewy's on. After I just retrieved his lure from the rocks, he got on right away. Oh, holy cow. You just put your glasses on. Shenanigans, what are you working with over here? So they stopped biting on the other stuff. They wouldn't bite on my jawbreaker, but they were biting on this. So as soon as we get this figured out, guys, we might be in luck. We had one on there, but uh, he spit it and... <laughs> and Chewy retrieved it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see y'all in a bit. Look at the bend in this pole, you guys. Makes me feel like I'm fighting a monster. Oh, he's one of the pretty ones. Wow. But yeah, let's see. I'm pretty sure he's a keeper, you guys. But uh, just for the sake of uh, legalities. Oh yeah, he's only 11. So, on the jawbreaker. So, and we, I, I almost broke his jaw, you guys. Well, it's a real thing. All right, so we're gonna put him in the basket, guys. Oh! All right, guys, I'm on. I went ahead and changed uh, that jawbreaker there for some orange and pink, and it was enough. <sighs> I swear, a trout just like pretty and shiny, it seems like. This is... Nice, look at that. All right, let's go measure this guy <clears throat> I think he looks a little bit too long but we're gonna measure just to make sure he's a good size okay let me wet my hands a little bit here guys before I go grabbing tubbers take him over to the net here and measure real quick <clears throat> Okay, Lord be my witness, and he is above 13, so we are going to let him go. There he goes, swimming the wrong way. There, there you go, it turned around. So, uh, all right, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, well, we are killing him with the RHA spoons today. We caught so many in the slot limit, um, but we are going to go ahead and we are going to try another spot, guys. <clears throat> Why not change it up? If we can strengthen our chances here of getting on a big brown or a bigger one, then that's awesome. We've caught lots that were uh, over 13 inches, so we didn't keep them. We had to release them. But uh, these RHA spoons are killing it, guys. So we're going to take these on the road. We can just take them in our little pack and like try some other places. They're still jumping around here, but they're not really biting per se. So we're going to go ahead and try a different spot, guys. We're going to pack it up, and we are going to see y'all at the next spot. Guys, we just got here. It's been raining since we got here. This guy's on his third freaking fish. I can't even get my line back in the water. Let me grab the net. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, he's a good 12 incher, guys. He's going in the basket for sure.
Fish is over here. Chewy's doubled up over there. Hey, give me that. Give me that. I'll try to get yours at least. <laughs> I think mine. I think I lost mine. Oh, I lost mine. Oh, geez. Okay, guys. Let's see. Did this guy come off? He came off. Oh. Mm, gosh, yes. The cement is so much uh, warmer. Okay, yeah. He's 12, so he's a keeper. All right. And like I said, me and Chewie were doubled up, but I think his came off because he was trying to help me get mine in. All right, get back to it, guys. All right, Chewie is on. I think I'm gonna go back to the big size. I thought maybe the left, the Smaller one would be less intimidating, but can't get it out there as far either. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper, huh? All right, if I can get this tied before you get him up here. Good hook too, guys. Almost took himself off. Oh yeah, he's good, guys. We're gonna go ahead and put him in the basket. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. All right, outdoor fam. <laughs> that concludes our anniversary weekend, fishing weekend extravaganza. So again, we went to uh, Beaver Lake and we fished all the tailwater into the river down there. A um, couple new places for us and we caught loads and loads of fish you guys but again they do have a slot limit between 13 and 16 inches so um, a lot of them we threw back um, but it was awesome um, we caught them on uh, some of the RHA spoons uh, a lot of bait and weight on the power balls and uh, we tried to include a lot of information for you guys like what we were using and um, how it was working for us so as always guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, as always stay stay out there guys and um, we will see you next time guys tight lines yeah.